guys, welcome back to Ace of Vegas. Ace here, and today we're gonna go ahead and cook another fresh $20 sandwich. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. All right, guys, so we didn't do too bad. We're on our way to the guest elevators right now. Um, now it's a weekend, so uh, where's the guest elevator? All right, it's past the resort club lounge. It's right around the, the bar over here. So because it's a weekend, uh, they didn't have much in the way of sweets or anything like that, at least not for complimentary upgrades. But they did give us a strip view and a $50 dining credit so we can enjoy our weekend here. So that was pretty dope. But let's go ahead and get up to the room and we'll take a look around. Okay, so this is the 18th floor. These are the 1870s, so we must be around the other way. Isn't that right, Wendy? I don't know. You didn't tell me the room number yet. Oh, well, it's back this way. It's 1822. Okay, off this way. So I'm assuming it's going to be hard right over this way. No, hard left. Because I don't know my left and my right, my right apparently. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. You know what I'm about. Someone tells me we probably could have taken a different set of elevators. Also, this might be a little difficult to do on the way back after a night of drinking. So it's probably going to be in the inside over here. Because I think this is the inside. I can't really tell with the way this hotel is oriented. Yeah, it's, it's like a, an art deco sort of thing. Who designed this um, oh, some guy that worked for MGM, I can't remember his name. It's a cool concept, you know, you just want to get to your spots. Uh, that's what happens when you got a 3,000 room hotel. <laughs> I think it's over here somewhere. Um, Alright, we're getting closer. This, this one's 18. How's it going? What's the actual number? Uh, it's, it, it's 18022. Ah, here it is. This is us. All right, cool deal. I do this without any ceremony at all. <laughs> all right, and we're at the room now. What ceremony should I do? So, looks like oh, looks like the door. You have to you have to kind of push it to latch it. So that's the first thing that you guys got to keep in mind. And you can go ahead and give it a good lock that way too. And yeah, let's go ahead and explore the room. So it looks like straight off we have a little bit of. Uh, Furniture over here. Um, oh, oh! I know mean, there's a there's a wardrobe, so we can put our things in here. And an ironing board too, with uh, his and hers, or his and his and hers, or whatever. I don't, I don't care. Anyway, point, point is you got a uh, you got two robes. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> and then iron and ironing board. Fun, something funny that happened at Vidara is I hadn't realized that they didn't have an ironing board in there, so they had an iron. Huh? There's a whole process to this. Oh, okay. yeah, have you never seen this show? I've seen bits and bobs here and there. This is paying for your vacation. Have you never seen this show? <laughs> You're playing a game. Well, then, you know, in the, in the, some some folks, the, the nice folks that like to watch us too. All right. Let's see what else we have in here. So we have some very large uh yeah large drawers over here in case you guys are staying for a while so for our international guests and friends that's how you do it over here so that's pretty cool um having a look over here walk into the bathroom and then yeah it looks like the yeah we got a uh, spousal sinks over here so that's pretty dope and then, oh, look at this, look at this. We got kind of a yeah, more, more uh, Japanese kind of style tub, proper resort soaking tub. So you got your shower head in here. Let's go ahead and get in there. Is a proper Ace of Vegas size? Bring this up to eye level. Yep, okay, I'm not gonna hit my head on this one. In New York, New York, that was a problem. It's uh, not gonna be a problem here. And then we have more of a kind of hot tub style resort soaking tub too. So you can shower first, then you can go ahead and fill up the tub. You can soak in there too. So that is a pretty awesome feature. And behind the frosted glass doors, I assumed this was going to be the shower, but it clearly isn't. So it must be the water closet. And of course it is complete with dual rolls of toilet paper, which is good. It's still like kind of 
kind of like industrial, not industrial strength, but that kind of uh, generic toilet paper and all that. But it had the had the little tab over here, so we know it's uh, fresh. And uh, uh, yeah, no, we know we got a got a phone over here in case you need to call anybody while you're on the john. All right, let's go ahead and have a look at the room proper. All right, so you have a lovely full body mirror over here, so that's a good sign there. So we gotta get some flexion going there. Yeah, yeah. And then just right around the corner over here, uh, it looks like we have plenty of places to put things down. A reading lamp on the desk too, as well as a hookup for your laptop, for your gaming PC, or uh, your gaming system. I hope you wouldn't bring your whole gaming PC with you, but if you do, you got a little something over there for you. Uh, full entertainment guide, remote to the telly, and then I think this is a good 40 inch television too, just kind of like at, uh, kind of like a Vidar. And then we'll move over here. We have some have some nice art kind of hanging up over here. It's definitely a nice art deco sort of thing. They have a vase here for some reason. I don't know who that's for. Maybe if I went to the casino, I'll go ahead and order uh, order some flowers there. And then we have, of course, the dreaded mini bar. Now, that's one thing I did like at uh, Vidara over Arias that they locked up the mini bar. Arias over here in the in your face with it. Lamps in the corner with the shades. And then you got a little extra space over here. It looks like there would be space for a mini fridge. Or should be one, but there isn't. And then when we open the actual mini fridge, it's just got nonsense stocked in here. So if you touch anything in here, you're pretty much billed for it, so you may as well just go ahead and eat it if you're gonna. Why is there a phone charger in the fridge? Honey, do you see this? Here, come down here. Come on down, come on down. Tower. You, got, you got to get off the tower, yes. <laughs> Takes a lot. All right. Here, come on down, come on down. Explain this to me. So, beef jerky, sure, it's meat, it's perishable. Snickers, yeah, they taste better cold, you know, drinks and all that. Why is the phone charger in here? As a joke. I don't get the joke. Because does... they knew that you were coming up to do this tour, and they're trying to mess with you. They explicitly did the... <sighs> Blasted you're becoming, MGM. You're becoming too well-known. Right. All right, and then we have a lovely little sitting area over here, side-by-side -side chairs. Uh, almost large enough to kind of snuggle on. I guess it depends on uh, how close you are with the person, if you know what I mean. Um, also, got your nightstand and the lamp over here, pretty bright. And, of course, you got the king-size bed over here. Uh, Wonder Woman not included. She's an extra. I had to pick her up from home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I I like to think that you are the perfect traveling companion. Yes, travel size perfection. How's that sound? All right, good deal. You guys heard me, heard it here first. <laughs> you guys heard it here first. Ace of Vegas, smoothest superhero of all time. Uh, and then obviously the lights come on and off. Look at those mood lights. That's actually kind of cool. So you have lamps. You can turn those on and off. You have reading light that you can turn on and off, and then you have. Good night for uh, sleeping, or otherwise, if you know what I mean. And of course, you have the Aria tablet over here. So I'm not sure if you guys. I, I don't think I've released the uh, tablet video yet, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do that for the Vidara tablet, so you guys know how to operate these things. And then the Aria tablet over here. So. Why are you shrugging? Because I wanted to show everybody the best feature of the room over here which is the automatic blinds that you can operate from your room. So you can do the sheer and the blackout curtains per usual. Because the force is strong in this one. All automatic button and you can just go ahead and close them out when you get home from your night of debauchery or Bible study or whatever you do. I don't really care what you do out here. You're adults. And then we get to enjoy this room over here, complete with a view of the Aria Express, the whole canopy, and the rest of the Las Vegas Strip. All right, guys, well, I don't know about you, but this has definitely gotten me in the mood for a nap and a beer. So I'm gonna have at least one of those things. We'll see if I have the other one. So, until next time, my spinners and sharks, this is Ace of Vegas, signing out, wishing you all strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva, Ace of Vegas. Viva, Ace of Vegas.
Yeah.